So you've finished that masterpiece script and you're looking for feedback. So begins the process of asking someone to read it. Most of the time when you ask, will you read my script? Here's how it sounds to someone like me. Uh, hey, I just finished this 10 minutes ago and it's such an awesome draft that it doesn't need a rewrite. Can you like pass this on to the most important person you know? A little harsh perhaps, but I'm relatively fluent in aspiring screenwriter. But let's say the person asking the favor is someone I'm too close to to turn down. There are certain things that you shouldn't do. Soon after giving me the script, don't send me another draft with the explanation, oops, I just caught a typo, here's a corrected draft. Same goes for drafts where you accidentally left in a scene you meant to cut. Anytime you replace your original draft with a corrected one, the reader's going to get the sense you haven't really checked, double-checked, and thoroughly revised it before putting it out in the world. Also, don't badger me within days of giving me the script. Have you read it yet is a dangerous question to ask. We get that you're anxious, and having been in your shoes, I know exactly how that feels. The thing you need to understand is that most script readers get a lot of scripts to read each week. It's nothing personal, but they're not going to want to pick up your script the first thing after they get home. Give them a week or two before you start badgering them. In fact, a good rule of thumb is that once you send the script, don't bring up the subject again until we do. An exception to this is if we've had it for a month or more, in which case it might not be a bad idea to remind us. Also, when you get notes, there's a way to handle them. If I diplomatically suggest some changes, but note that the script needs a fair amount of work, that is not your cue to say, screw you, what do you know? My characters are awesome, my plot is fantastic. If you know what you were talking about, you'd be buying scripts, not reading them. I don't know what anyone thinks they're gaining by insulting the person who just did a huge favor for him. It's not like I'm going to say, wow, your personal insults have just made me re-examine my position entirely. You're right. You're the next Quentin Tarantino. Be patient, be gracious, and always say thank you. If you get a note you don't agree with, feel free to ask questions about it just to figure out why the reader feels that way, but never, ever argue a note. It just makes you look bad. Be polite and professional, and remember that what I'm giving you is just my opinion. If you don't want to take any of my notes, you don't have to. But presumably, you came to me in the first place because my opinion was important to you. Unless you were just using me in the hopes I'd pass it on to somebody important. Don't do that. No one likes feeling used, and it's a pretty crappy way to treat someone. In most cases, you have to remember we're passing scripts up to people even more overworked than us, so it only stands to reason we're not going to waste their time with something we can't be passionate advocates for. Believe it or not, we want to be on your side, so show us a little courtesy next time. If you have further questions about this, ask them in comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next week.